semester. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Does everyone here remember their first time? <laughs> I remember the first time my wife and I did. <laughs> we planned it in advance, many months in advance. We talked about it with friends. We even looked it up on the World Wide Web. <laughs> and of course, we consulted with our parents. After all, we needed them to supervise. <laughs> And when it came the time for us to do it, my wife started to get cold feet. So naturally I had to persuade her and tell her, it's long overdue, we deserve it, it's the right time. <laughs> so we decided to go through with it. And for the first time, we were gonna leave the kids at home and fly to Mexico. <laughs> It was a bit of a trek to get to our resort. We had to take a series of planes, air, or planes, boats, taxis, buses. But when you're traveling without kids, it doesn't matter. It's so much easier to travel that way. <laughs> our resort had a couple of pools that were clustered around the, the buildings. And one of the pools was a kiddie pool. And you had to walk that way to get to the beach. And my wife and I just enjoyed the moment when we walked by the kiddie's pool. We might notice a, a kid having a complete meltdown, and we just kind of laugh to each other, drink it down, <laughs> and walk around to the beach and relax. Now, the best part of the resort was it was all inclusive. And I've never been to a place where you can eat as much as you want. And at first, I was a little bit apprehensive because I wasn't sure if anyone was going to be watching as I'm loading up my plate. <laughs> but I soon got the hang of it. And then the other part, of course, is the all-inclusive all drinks. I had to learn a valuable lesson to pace myself <laughs> if I wanted to make it to dinner time. <laughs> I went with a group of three other couples. The, uh, during the trip, we, we acquired, some of us acquired nicknames. Uh, Nigel became Nacho because of the pronunciation, Spanish pronunciation. We had Nancy became Mamacita. <laughs> she was named by Homie, who we'll talk about in a moment. We had Sam, who became Silver Sam because of her love of the Mexican jewelry, the silver jewelry. And we had Darren, who became Hasselhoff. Because of his Baywatch moves, he was running towards the waves, boogie board in hand, jumping into the water. The first night there, we were there, we all decided to go out to dinner at one of the restaurants in the resort. And someone had the idea, let's make it Nacho's birthday, and we'll surprise him. And it wasn't his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so we told the wait staff. They brought out a birthday cake. We sang really loudly. They brought out a hat, but a hat on top of his head. Gave him a couple shots of tequila. He swung his head around. <laughs> and we ate the cake. We had such a good time, we decided, oh, the next night, let's make it someone else's birthday. <laughs> and eventually, everyone had a birthday in Mexico. <laughs> the next night, we decided to leave the resort, and we went, on, went to a bar that we heard that was owned by a Canadian, and we might be able to catch the Canucks game that was playing that night. So, we headed off in a taxi to this part of town that was looking a little bit sketchy. We were a little bit unsure of things. We head in, and as soon as we walk in, the first thing that I noticed was there was a guy without a shirt on, and he was covered in tattoos. And my first thought was, those are prison tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> he just had that look about him. But after we sat down, he turned out to be a really nice guy. And he came down, he, he bought us a round of drinks, chatted with us. And he started chatting with Nancy, who was interest, interested in swimming with the dolphins. And it turns out that he owned the tourist shop that was just outside a resort. And so they were talking about tickets. And at one point, he seemed to be, there was a, you know when there's a, a quiet moment and someone's voice really projects just out of nowhere. And just out of nowhere, he says to, uh, he says to Nancy, he says, uh, Mama Sita. And that's how Nancy got her name. <laughs> you don't need to go to the aquariums to swim with the dolphins. You can come swim with me in my backyard. I've got dolphins in my pool. 
<laughs> so we did make it back safe and sound from our trip to the bar. And the next day we did an ATV tour. Now this was the highlight of my trip. We got a quick lesson on how to use the ATVs. Here's the gas, here's the brake, you jump on. Uh, they were the, the big four-wheelers with two seats. So my wife was on the back and I was a little bit apprehensive about driving this thing. We had to drive on some of the city roads, then we headed out off, off into the, the countryside. So to, uh, the destination was the tequila factory. So we all went off to the tequila factory, had a nice lunch. They practically forced us to drink tequila. <laughs> and then they put us back on the bikes. <laughs> And I'll tell you, on the way back, there was no apprehension. <laughs> I was flying down those roads, feeling like I was the best ATV rider ever. <laughs> and one of the fun parts about the ATVs was that it had rain recently, so there's a bit of water on the ground. And if you time the throttle right, you can spray the people behind you with mud. Because <laughs> we were going through some farm area, there was some other stuff on the ground too that you could spray. <laughs> Well, the week was soon over, and my wife and I survived our first time. And it wasn't that painful as we had thought it might be. <laughs> In fact, we had the time of our lives. So if there's anyone here who hasn't done it yet, don't hold back. Don't save yourself for the right time. <laughs> Just do it, and you'll be glad that you did. Madam President.